School's out for the summer for most of the school districts across Eastern Iowa. And this morning, we're hearing from one outgoing Eastern Iowa superintendent. Ryan Witchery is joining us now with Waverly Shell Rock Superintendent Ed Clamfoth. Ryan? Katie, thank you. Ed, welcome to Today in Iowa. Thanks a million for joining us this morning. My pleasure, Ryan. Well, this school year, as you know, has been one of a lot of change for Waverly Shell Rock. There's preparing for the new school building, there's your own retirement announcement, and so on. What grade? Would you give the district for handling all the changes this year? Oh, well, it depends on what day you look at that, but I would say an A-plus, certainly. There have been a lot of changes. We're getting ready to move into several new facilities or renovated, two new elementary buildings and a renovated third elementary building. Uh, and so that's gone as well as might be expected when you're doing something of that, you know, that extreme. And again, you mentioned, or you announced your retirement, I believe, last fall. Mm -hmm. How's that transition been going to the new superintendent? It's been really good. David Hill is at North Tama currently as the superintendent there. He and I have had many opportunities to get together and talk through issues, answer his questions, that sort of thing. So I'm really confident that, that it'll be a smooth transition. And you've been with Waverly Shower Rock for what, about 10 years? 11. 11 years. Mm -hmm. I was close. Uh, what made you decide maybe this was the time to step out of the educational world? You know, that's a great question, and, and I've been asked that before. And, I didn't enter into this school year with the idea that it was going to be my last. It just happened to be that at a certain point it just felt like it was the right thing to do. Uh, I made the announcement in the fall to give the district ample time to find a replacement. Um, and the closer I get to the end, which is at the end of this month, uh, I, I feel really good about it. And. What do you plan on doing now? You mentioned you're going to be mowing your lawn later, but uh, what, else, what else do you have planned once you're in retirement? My wife and I really like to travel, and, and so we, I anticipate doing more of that. I enjoy fishing and hunting, and I, I look forward to doing that uh, during the week if I want to. Uh, and I anticipate I would like to work part-time uh, in, a, in a job that allows me to have some flexibility and do something that I enjoy. So all of those things, I hope. Sounds terrific. Well, is there anything you want to share with the families of Waverly Shell Rock, the faculty, the staff members? Well, I, I shared with the staff members uh, the last day we got together that you know, my experience here has been outstanding. I, I've learned a ton. I appreciate all that they've provided me and my family. My hope was that I was able to provide a little bit to the district um, over those 11 years to benefit the district and the families. It's a great place to be, Ryan. Waverly's a wonderful place. And, a lot of people don't know this, but I started my educational career as a five-year-old at one of our elementary schools in Waverly, Iowa. And so it's, it's kind of fitting that I begin and end that long journey in the same place. Well, it has come full circle. Ed, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know you have a couple of weeks left until your official retirement, but early congratulations are in order. So congrats on your retirement. Katie, I'll send it back to you.